In my last video, I showed a really basic lighting setup that I used to shoot some food videos. If you haven't seen that video, then you can click this link to give it a watch. This can be used to light a variety of things and it's really easy to do. I'm going to show you how to set that up right now and then I'm going to take you through the steps and show you what you need to do it yourself. Okay, so you basically only need about five things to recreate this lighting setup. First of all, you need a flat surface. Um, I used a table in this example, um, just my dining table that I basically dragged into position, um, set up in sort of the center of the room, um, and I thought it was a nice wood, so it would give a nice look for underneath whatever product I was shooting. I had one light set up, lighting the product from the right hand side. This is a really cheap light that I bought off Amazon, um, but it's nice and diffused and it gives that nice soft light and avoids any sort of glare off the table so nothing bounces up too harshly on the product. For the other side of the product, I used a bit of sort of white MDF bounce board that I basically just found in a DIY store it cost me something like £5. It's basically just a white surface that helps reflect the light and bounce it back onto the other side to sort of fill in a little bit of the shadows on the product. I'm actually using it right now to sort of light this side of my face. Um, I'm actually, I'll show you. This is basically it. It is a bit of white board. That is it. With the back. So as I said, I got that from a DIY store. It cost me about five pounds. Um, and it can really be used to sort of, you know, fill in the shadows. I don't know if you can see that. It kind of fills them in as I bring it in. So I basically just had that mounted to a, a boom pole so that it sort of like sat where I wanted it to. You literally lean this on anything, get it nice and close to the to the product. I actually ended up moving this kind of halfway through shooting. It was sort of sitting portrait, but I moved it landscape just so the surface area was a bit bigger so that it filled in the shadows a little bit better. So that bit of bounce board just fills in the sort of dark side of your product. So you don't have like one side extremely bright and then there's like drastic drop off where the other bit just sort of descends into darkness. You want something to just sort of bring those shadows up just a little bit. So there's still a contrast, but it's not too harsh. In order to hold the bit of bounce board in place, um, I attached some of these, which are duck clamps to the boom pole. Um, these are just plastic ones, you can find metal ones online, um, but they're just really good. They come in handy for, for loads of different things, but it was just a really easy way to attach to the boom pole so that it would sit there without moving at all. I would suggest getting these if you don't have them because they come in handy more, more times than you'd believe. I've used them in so many shoots for so many different reasons and it's just really great to have a pair, sort of chuck them in your bag because um, they will come in handy at some point. And that was it really, and I thought this really gave me a nice easy look, and it only took me about five minutes to set up. So if you only have one light and you really want to get something done quickly, this is something you could go to. I know there's a lot more um, technical lighting setups out there, but you know, this is something that you can whack up really quickly, um, and you can still get some nice results as you can see. So that's it for this video. I know it was a quick one, um, but I think this lighting technique can really add to your shoots, and it's really, really easy to do. If I could have done anything different, let me know. So if you enjoyed this video and you like this kind of content, then consider subscribing, that'd be great. You can also follow me on Instagram for a bit more content, which you can find in the description. See you in the next video.